旦那さんいらっしゃい。Hello and welcome to a guide on the shop. In this video, we'll be going over what items are worth to buy. Do keep in mind these are my personal opinions. And how and what to spend on is ultimately your decision to make. Without further ado, let's start. Originium, or Originite Prime. For reasons I'll share later in the video, don't buy any of these packs unless you want to whale in Arknights. Actually, let me make a slight correction. You can buy these packs for the first time when it does have the bonus, but since the bonus does not disappear, you have other priorities. At least in my opinion. Moving on, we have packs. The starter pack is priced at one dollar, and you get the operator Gummy, along with a few materials. Operator Gummy is a healing defender. She is able to provide. Extra healing for your healers when they can't keep up. Now, because she is a healing defender, she can only block two enemies before her E1. This is important. On another side note, if you have Neural or Saria, which are also healing defenders, you might reconsider taking up this pack, since they do overlap roles. But then again, it's only one dollar. Next, we have the starter headhunting pack, which for twenty dollars we can get a ten-roll headhunting ticket, which is basically twenty draws within the gacha. This specific pack, in my opinion, is worth it, though, because the starter packs never disappear, we can save this for a later date. When there is a certain gacha banner that you would like to roll on, on to the next one. We have the starter upgrade pack, which for ten dollars we get thirteen originite prime and a bunch of low tier materials for you to upgrade your units. The priority on this is pretty low in my opinion. Apart from the originite prime, everything else is farmable. Now, although I say that. It does give a really good boost at the beginning of the game when we're first starting off. So, if you plan on buying this, the earlier you buy this, the more significant of a difference it makes. Starter Furniture Pack. For the price of ten dollars, you get six Originite Prime and two thousand four hundred furniture parts. Now, this one isn't that much worth it. You get six of the premium currency, and at the same time, the 2,400 furniture parts allow you to decorate out one whole dorm, which allows you to get a little bit more F credits, and of course, lets your dorm look better. But all in all, the priority on this is pretty low, because furniture parts are farmable. Now we move on to the monthly headhunting pack. Which, for the price of twenty-six dollars, we get forty-two originite prime and a ten-roll headhunting ticket. The forty-two originite from this pack allows you to buy every skin the game releases. And if you're not interested in skins, you can just spend the originite prime on sanity or leveling packs. Next, we have the weekly growth pack, which, for the price of ten dollars. You get a bunch of upgrade materials. Generally speaking, I don't really recommend buying this because this does not give you any originite prime, and all the materials within this pack are farmable. Of course, it does provide a pretty significant boost. So whether or not it is worth it, it is up to you to decide. Personally speaking, I don't touch this pack. As you progress further on to the game, the value of this pack will get lower and lower and lower. Finally, we have the monthly card. Bearing all else, if you plan on spending money on the game, do get the monthly card. 
This is a must. For the price of $5, you can get 6 Originite Prime, 6,000 Arundum, which is a 10 pull, and 30 Emergency Sanity Potions, which translate to 3,600 Sanity. This pack is a must get if you plan on spending money in the game. Now let's move over into the certificate shop. First off, we have commendations, which I which I also refer to as green certificates. So what should I buy in these commendations? You want to buy everything in tier one. You want to clear out the first tier of this shop. And then once you get to tier two, you want to selectively buy what materials you need. I do recommend getting the recruitment permit. I don't recommend getting the headhunting permit, they cost way too much. All the other materials are up for you to decide what to get. So now let's talk about distinctions, which I call gold certificates. There are a bunch of traps in this specific shop. Do not buy neither the tokens nor the materials unless you are desperate. Those are for whales. Expedited plans are just a trap in general, because you could just wait out the time for your recruitment. Which leaves us the last three options. The rotating 6 star, the rotating 5 star, and the headhunting permits. First, let's talk about the headhunting permits. It is generally recommended to not buy this pack unless unless you are able to get all five phases of the headhunting permits. In order to get all five phases of the permits, you need 258 golden certificates. If you can't buy out the whole five tiers, then it's better to just save or spend on other things. So now we have the rate up six star and the rate up five star. This is heavily my own opinion, but I would recommend you to get the 5 star if you don't have them. The reason being is you expand your character pool and diversify your team even more so that when you need that specific operator for a specific role, you have the option of doing so. Of course, you can also save up your tickets to get the 6 star. For those of you that are wondering which operator are going to be rotated into the shop, I will leave a link down below for you to see. Finally, we have shop vouchers, which I will call red certificates. Everything in the shop is fair game. Of course, there are priorities. First off, if you don't have Quora or Feeder, I do recommend getting them. The other thing that you want to save up for are the chip catalyst. This is a vital material for your operators going to E2. Do save up enough red tickets for the catalysts. Once you've bought out these three, you can then go on to buy the tokens. On a little side note, the conversion rate of these red tokens are around 3 to 2. 3 sanity to 2 red certificates. Moving on, we have the furniture store. Now this one is fairly straightforward. You use hammers and bolts to get decorations, to decorate your dorm, to upgrade the ambience of your dorm. Upgrading the ambience increases morale regeneration and also allows you some extra F credits every single day. You can also buy some furniture with Originate Prime. Generally speaking, this isn't that good of an idea since all the hammers are farmable. Finally, we have the F Credit Shop. Simply buy out all the discounts and the operators that appear within the shop. Now would be a good time to talk about where to spend my Originite Prime. So. The worst thing that you can do 
is to directly convert your Originite Prime into Arundum. Do not do this. This is the worst choice possible for you to do. Of course, if you're really close to rolling on the gacha and you need that one little boost, it's okay to eat a few. But generally speaking, this is a terrible idea. The reason why it's such a bad idea is because in the pack shop, we have the Pro Enhancement Pack. Now these packs, for the price of Originite they cost, they will directly convert all the Originite into Arundum and also give you materials. So all you have to do is wait until you level up and buy the packs if you really want. Another use of Originite Prime is to buy skins. Skins cost 15 to 18 Originite Prime. And generally speaking, as a free to play player, you would want to save up all of your Originite Prime for these skins. Now, if you don't care about skins, there is one last way you can spend Originite. You can spend it on refilling for sanity. This directly boosts your progression within the game. And depending on what level you are at the moment, two or three Originate Prime equals to one day of progression within the game. On a final note, do remember to do your recruitment, as this is your main way of attaining green and golden certificates. Also, my own recommended list of buying the packs in the shop are the monthly card, the monthly headhunting pack, any of the starter packs, directly buying pure originite, and last of all, the weekly growth pack. To wrap this all up, if you're still curious about what each currency does and how to attain them, linked down in the comments below is the currency guide. And if you have any other questions, please leave a comment in the section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you next time.